It's been a while since I filmed over here, actually, but it is 12, it is 12 a.m., and so I cannot actually film in my room, because that would wake up the rest of my family, and that would be very rude. But Gintama Chapter 604 is out, and I have no desire to uh, put this off any longer than it needs to be, because Gintokia knew that I'm not going to talk. Let's go straight into it. Lesson 604. The difference between tenacious and obstinate is paper thin. Let's see. The end is a convergence and will si and simultaneously a release. With that end, we will be released from every bond. Although he uses we instead of just I, because it's an interesting characteristic of his that it's not, like, technically what he's doing is incredibly selfish, obviously, but there's a little bit more complexity. It will be defeated. It will be repeated, repeated, not defeated. <laughs> this foolish war and the pain and sadness born of it. And Sakata Gintoki, you still choose to stand there, do you? You choose to reject the end and continue to suffer. You choose to cut down your master, do you? Oh my god. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> no, but I think that this, that these two, that this line, you choose to reject the end and continue to suffer, it is one of the most important things for Gintoki's character. It really captures, um, it really captures him in a single sentence, just like the uh, good old line from the fifth episode, or whenever it comes in the manga chapter six, I think, one... Akatsura suggests that they die as warriors, and they, um, they commit seppuku, pretty much, and he's just like, no. Why think about, why spend out all of this time planning your beautiful death when you can live your beautiful life instead? And when you can compare that with, uh, Utsuro, it's clearly the exact opposite, and that's why I think that Utsuro and Gintoki function so well as the hero and the, anta and the antagonist. The contrast there is striking and very, very in line with what everything that Gintam has ever said really, really is. Sitsuro. Then I am forced to choose as well. Let's see what this is. Okay, guy removing his hat. All right, okay. Is this another new character? Goodness, well, okay, let's see. The pain of cutting down my disciple. Oh. <sighs> Sirachi. You're not allowed to do this. You're not allowed to do this. The pain of cutting down my disciple. don't even know what's to be said about that. <laughs> uh, Shinbachi Nobume looking very shocked. That's... Oh no, that's no ordinary Naraku. That is the last of the Naraku Three Crows. Okay, okay. Um, Nugai Hitsugi. So Nobume knows, obviously, considering who she is. Gintoki, look at that. He just goes straight for it! <laughs> Again! No hesitation on Gintoki's part. Here we go. That pan Look at just the... Sirachi's art. It's come so far. I know I say this all the time, but... He is so good at capturing a sense of emotion in the... In his art. It's just... I, lo I love, I love. Um, ba 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 he skewered, he skewered him through the mouth. Oh dear. Gintoki, look at that. Okay. No mercy from Gintoki at this. Shinpachi and Nobume look shocked. Even Utsuro's expression is just like, okay. <laughs> Master, disciple, I don't see any of those around here. What I see in front of me is just a villain. <sighs> it's 
gonna shake my head for the entire video. <laughs> and what's in front of you is just a Yorosia. Because naturally, that's where Gintoki has found his uh, has found his new identity, his new name, as we uh, learned in Rakio. Or as it's confirmed in Rakio. Obviously, we've known it all along, but it's 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 uh, articulated in Rakio. What's that? Notices something. Oh, the guy is back. Oh dear. Here we go. So he's not just gonna die so easily even after Gintoki does all of that. Who's this guy? I know he's one of the Naraku, obviously, but still a high ranking figure, but came out of nowhere. Um everyone's close again. No 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 no. Shinpachi Kagura Nobume, yes. <laughs> There's lots of fighting panels. As always, excellently laid out. Do, do, do. Let's see. We cut and we cut, and they just keep back, and they just keep getting up. Naturally, because they are undead and they can't die. <laughs> and there's just no end to it. Gintoki. Just a lot of fighting panels. Not that much to say. Look at that. Is Gintoki going to finish him here? Or are we going to get more of this character? We'll see. Come back. Oh, the guy grabs him from behind again. Stop. No, no, no. And then he makes... <laughs> then he flips him up for his head so the Nanaku kills the zombie thing. Cuts him in half completely. Good gosh, this is... This is gonna be bloody to see animated. <sighs> Look at that panel of Gintoki crouching in the smoke. That's r I like that shot a lot. I like it a lot. Uh, bu -bu. More ships. More ships. Uh, so time's up. I'll secure an escape route. Run, so they're just not... Well, I'm not, I'm not really surprised that the Gintoki Utsuro uh, confrontation didn't last so... didn't last very long. We can't take on Utsuro and the Liberation Army at the same time. Sorry, I was too optimistic. <laughs> Against that immortal man and this immortal army. We are, as we are now, if we are alone, we cannot win. <laughs> Your sword. Why well, blank? You, your swords cannot reach me. As obviously the next page. Your sword. So many awesome panels of. This is going to be awesome animated. I can't wait to see this. Your sword will not reach. Here we go again. The famous line he's going to say a million times over. It's probably, it's, it's probably going to be his catchphrase, essentially. Naturally, the uh, my my guess is that the uh, implications there of Gintoki's sword being unable to reach is that um we're going to get the uh, a call back to the line in 552, um, where uh, they're talking. Uh, Shoya is just like your mon that monster sword cannot defeat me. You need to use your human sword to do that sort of thing. So your sword that Gintoki is still using is that monster sword. Essentially, when he's fight when he's fighting him literally like this, that there has to be another that he's going to need to come up with a different way to finally deal with Utsuro. Naturally, it's not going to be dealt with by a with strength alone, um, because when you're facing Utsuro, you really can't compete with him in that department. It will not reach me. Utsuro. Who said his name? Has Gintoki ever really said his last name? I don't know. Going down on his head. Let's see how that goes. Explosion of some sorts. Shinpachi Kagura, look back. Light. Light. Giant explosion. Is this what um, Ensho was talking about then? Blow them all away. 
Gintoki flies back, thrown against the um, uh, storage units. Utsura. Hurry. Run, 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 run. They're all getting attacked, and the fight is brought to a sudden and abrupt end. Uh, Nobu May takes him to do, 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 do. Oh gosh, and they're both in the uh, they're both in the light. Nobu May pushes him. <sighs> All I can think of right there, Nobu May pushing him out of the way is exactly what Isamaro did. Please don't tell me that Nobu Nobu May is not gonna die. No, she's not. Gintoki is flying into the water. What's that sword? That sword that got that he's just falling with him. And that's all. <laughs> that's all. Come on. Uh, you can see what people were saying that that was um, a lighter chapter, relatively speaking, in comparison to uh, what we've gotten in the past. But obviously the first confrontation with Utsuro couldn't last too long. It's too early for the actual fight to happen. And of course, if one thing important was established here, it would be that, um, of course, that Gintoki's not just going to be able to defeat Utsuro by simply fighting him. It's not going to work. He's, you, you can't beat Utsuro in that, in that sense. And the real battle to be won here not just uh, not just in terms of physical strength, but in terms of actually what makes sense with regards to plot and characters and themes of Gintama, that obviously it can't just be, oh yes, I'm going to defeat Utsuro because I'm going to beat him in a fight. No. They're, they're especially because of, because Utsuro is Shoyo, there is a, such a deep emotional connection between Gintoki and, and Shoyo and Utsuro. It just it wouldn't make sense if it were that simple, and if it just ended out. And Gintoki, one wonders exactly what that realization Gintoki is going to need to have. I don't know. We're going to see how that goes, but um, I'm excited. So we've got the first confrontation. So I guess this is like the first, this arc in general. What have we gotten so far? We have gotten, uh, obviously... A significant portion of the cast returns. We have the whole um, the battle of the negotiations. We have the introduction of the Liberation Army, both sides, the moderate side in Tijuku, and the more radical side in Ensho. Ensho naturally contrasts with Takasugi. We've got Zenzo back. Zenzo is protecting Soyo and the rest of the royal family, and they're going to end up having a showdown with Nobunobu. And then, of course, we get the very first glimpses of Gintoki and Utsuro, and Nobume's status is unknown. She better not be dead. I will be very upset with Sirachi if Nobume is dead before her character is seen through to the end. But, um, there, there is a lot that still needs to happen in this arc, uh, just as far as character arcs that, needs to be, that need to be completed. And obviously now we've got a million different plot threads that we need to address that Sirachi is introduced, and of course there's going to be more plot threads introduced as, times goes, as time goes on, because... You know, the good old Shinsugumi still need to come back. We need to see how Kambu's going to play into this. We need to see how Takasugi's going to play with this. Although I'm pretty sure that Takasugi, his pr primary role this arc is really going to be in uh, dealing with Ensho and confronting him simply because of how similar their characters are. And obviously, Ginto Inutsuro. One wonders how Katsura is going to play into all of this because, you know, we never really completely understand Katsura, though I truly do love him. I'm not really sure what he's going to be doing here. <sighs> what else is there? Yeah, I don't really know. I think that's all I've got to say about the chapter. Obviously, I thoroughly enjoyed it, because it's good stuff. It's it's Gintoki versus Utsuro round one. Your sword cannot reach me. <laughs> he's going to say that so many times until it finally gets through it. Until Gintoki has that... Uh, He's saying, he's probably saying something incredibly meaningful to Gintoki by saying that, but Gintoki hasn't uh, had that full revelation, that full realization as to what uh, 
it sort of was meaning by saying that. How, how you know, like the, my, my favorite line of the chapter was obviously, will you bear the pain of cutting down your master? And Utsuro goes on, that he will go on and bear the pain of cutting down his disciple. That, because I always wonder how much of Shoyo is still alive. Because obviously, Shoyo is technically gone. Utsuro killed him at Obviously, we know that 593, like the show, sh the strict, the, sh the shoyo personality in the strictest sense is dead, but that doesn't mean that there is no remaining lasting impact on shoyo, uh, on, on the character on the whole simply because of shoyo's existence. <sighs> he's, he's still a mystery. That's why I love him so much. One of the reasons, at least. And I'm curious, I want to see him again. I want to see this conflict unfold in full, but we're not there yet. A lot of things need to happen first. Gintoki needs to. Whatever it's going to take for him to really be able to deal with Utsuro. And it's not it's obviously not just gonna be by pure strength alone. Like the other like the rest of like the rest of the cast is going to deal with the other antagonistic threats, I would imagine this is going to guarantee that every character gets a significant role in the final arc, which is obviously very important, but I think Gintoki's focus is going to need to be very singular this arc. One thing that obviously we definitely need to see, that I really want to see. I, uh, I, I want Kagura and Shinpachi and Gintoki to have an actual conversation about this. I really would like to. I mean, I mean, I guess we don't need to have like a literal conversation, but it needs to be made clear to us. Um, it needs to, it needs to be made clear to us what Gintoki, Shinpachi, and Kagura mean to each other, in compare like as a juxtaposition to the shoyo, with the shoyo Utsuro and the Shoko Sonjuku kids. I think there is a really, really interesting contrast there just because of because Gintoki and Utsuro are Gintoki and Utsuro are constantly being contrasted with each other. And so there that similarity there between Shoko Sonjuku and the um Yorosia is something that I think is going to be very important and I want to see more of. I'm sorry if I sound very tired, it's midnight. But yeah. I think that's all I've got to say for this chapter. This is a little bit shorter of a review than usual, probably because it's just, relatively speaking, there was, um, there was a lot less content here. It was mostly just fighting, which is perfectly fine. It's just a little a little glimpse of the story that needed to go on. One wonders where the, uh, the other Naraku guy, whether he's going to have any role in the rest of it, and the exact repercussions of what's going to happen because of what the uh, Liberation Army did. A bomb of sorts that they dropped. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and or subscribe, and I will see you soon.